That's perfect. And go. Hey, everybody. This is my little sister, Ashley. Hi. Yeah, so she's uh, cleaning for Victoria while Victoria's away, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sean's in this like wobbly chair that's can't missing get a it. foot. Can't get it right. That's what the screw was from. Yeah, did you throw that away? Oh no, no it's right, right there. there. Okay. So, yeah. So this is my little sister and everyone at the studio thinks that we look alike and they call her Mini Tara. So <laughs> Mini Tara. It's up to you guys awesome. to determine if we really... Uh, well, it's nice. it's not just from the front. I mean, the relations mm -hmm. apparent. But uh, actually, when you were loading up the water, uh, you did look a lot like Tara from. Uh, oh my gosh, this is not going to sound good. I'm going to edit this out. <laughs> you looked like Tara from behind. <laughs> Your face looked like Tara's face from a. <laughs> I don't think there's any way out of this. Okay, go ahead. So yeah. Ashley, you should tell people about yourself. Um, they know all about me. Well, I go to UVU. I'm a history education major, which I guess is a family thing since Tara was an American Studies major. Yeah. Um, what else interesting is there? Um, <laughs> you should do this. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. Look at what's going we're, on down here. We're both <laughs> waggling your feet at exactly the same pace. Yeah. Um, Ashley, um, she she's actually an artsy person. I don't even think Sean knows this, but she like paints yeah, and stuff. So, yeah. And what else is there interesting about Ashley? I like um, to write. Oh, yeah, she writes poetry and such. And short stories. And I'm wearing her nail polish right now. I rated her nail polish. I have a lot. So. <laughs> uh, what's a lot of nail polish? Like a drop. I would hole. have no reference. <laughs> that, is that like 10, 20 bottles? Uh, she probably had about, I don't know, tw uh, probably 20. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you can only wear so many colors at one right. time. I only have, like, three colors of nail polish. Yeah. Right. Ashley, do you have any <laughs> weird dreams? Because we like to talk about Ooh, weird the dreams. dreams. Oh, yeah. Let's do. I had a dream about a tiger last night. We both have had tiger dreams. Yeah. But you should and lion yours. dreams. Yeah. So you, should, you should tell your tiger dream. Yeah. Last night I had a dream. There was a tiger in my room. And I, it apparently really liked me because every time I left the room, would growl at everybody else until I came back. So I guess I had a pet tiger. Nice. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, Ashley and I like to have chick flick movie nights. Whoa, I thought you were going to tell a tiger dream too. I've realized that my tiger dream was actually a lion dream, and Ashley and I both had a lion dream on the I same see. night. Really? Yeah. yeah. We both. We got attacked by lions. That was nice. It was here at the studio, <laughs> my lion dream. Oh, okay. I'm like, darn it. I told you people not to sleep over in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Hold no. on just a second. One day I actually came in and there was a staffer who had built up like a little fortress of cardboard boxes so no one could see him. And he had actually... Uh, Couldn't actually the fortress kind of give it away? Uh, no, it was behind like this counter. Awesome. Thing, so it was That's what I do. I like curl up in that box of packing peanuts at night. Like, nice. I wonder what that would be like. Okay. Actually get like a big old bathtub of packing peanuts or the bubble and wrap. sleep in it. The bubble wrap would pop and would keep me awake. <laughs> so At night, it'd be like a bowl of Rice Krispies. Okay, lion dream. Um, yeah, so I had this dream. It was me and Ashley. We were we were back behind the studio, like kind of near the like paint shed. And this lion comes out of nowhere and starts like running towards us. So I'm like, Ashley, we have to run. So we like run into the studio, which is like no one was here, but it happened to be unlocked. So I don't know what that was all about. But I think the lion represents unemployment. <laughs> Probably. And we all <laughs> came ahead. running to the studio. Okay, go ahead. So yeah, and it was just like waiting for us. So we just like stayed here until the, indefinitely until the lion was gone. So yeah, it was fun. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, 
Are you going to college right now? Right. I'm not doing summer semester, but I'll okay. be going back in the fall. Isn't that a great feeling to oh, be out is. for the summer? <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, why aren't you doing summer semester? I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever think of quitting entirely? No, I, I couldn't do that. I enjoy school. All right, we'll talk later. <laughs> uh, Sean, I never got to finish telling the story about my nieces. Oh, please do. Because Stephen interrupted. Yeah, Stephen. I think Stephen has gotten a shout out in every Terra show since like the beginning of Terra really? show. I, I didn't think know so. that. How can I not notice that? Okay, go ahead. Um, so yeah, so I was telling about you know our cute, adorable nieces. They're four and two, and then my nephew, who's like a month old, so and doesn't do much yet. <clears throat> My grandparents are out visiting him right now. My grandparents live here in Spanish work as well. And so I'm talking to my nieces on Mother's Day. And the four-year-old, she's so funny. She's telling me about this mood. Well, first, she's like really confused because my grandparents are there and I'm staying at my grandparents' house. So she's like, where are you? I was like, I'm at grandma and grandpa's house. But grandma and grandpa are here. Like she didn't understand that I could be at their house without them being there, like, mm. and then she was telling me about this movie that they had watched, The Rise of the Guardians, like, right. I haven't seen it, so and I don't you know anything. What about you? Nope. Oh, I had no clue what she was talking it was about. Awesome. So she's telling me about these characters, and so she's listing all of them, she's like, the Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, and the Booger Man, <laughs> not the awesome. Boogie Man, right. the Booger Man. That would make him a lot less scary. I think so. Uh, I hear the booger man is uh, very delicious. <laughs> but she does, I mean, she does cute stuff all the time, our little niece. We can't really understand the other one very well. She talks a lot, but... You know, let's do this whole thing and just have your feet in it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's very animated. All right, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> So our nieces are adorable. Um, oh, Ashley and I, well, I kind of took over it, but we uh, had a book vlog going for a while until Netflix ruined my reading. I haven't read in a while either, but that was mainly because right. of school during finals. Just didn't have time. Yeah, it's... I'm reading a pretty interesting book now. It's about... Um, about it. It's called, I think, The Alphabet Versus the Goddess, and it's talking about how, like... Uh, becoming literate as a society kind of declined uh, right brain versus left brain and how women are more attached to image and men are more attached to... You're reading a philosophical book? I didn't know when I first got it. I got it at DI, which is a thrift store. For Did you think it was fiction? I wasn't sure what I thought it was, but I was just like, just oh, this looks pretty interesting. And, and it is pretty interesting. Hmm. So... Now, I've always thought of Tara as being white. <laughs> like, you're, you're as white as a white girl gets. Right? <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> but, now, but now, I'm having to rethink that. <laughs> so if, if you guys, just for the sake of academics here, could you two move in, like just your faces, like really close? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. There's whiter than Tara. Not, not as white as I thought. Okay, so also anyway. smaller than Tara, apparently. Tara's, yeah. Tara's pink. <laughs> I'm pink. Yeah. I went to the library looking for like an uplifting book, mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't find one. So I picked up a book by Donald Trump and, uh, and read it. I read it in like two days, mm -hmm. and uh, it was interesting. Did it, how, did it compare, how did it compare oh to God. Tina Fey? Well, Tina Fey's book, Bossy Pants, uh, which I think Shannon still has, I think so. uh, was fun. I mean, it was cotton candy. Mm -hmm. It was cotton candy. And, um, yeah. And, and this one was really, it was, it was, it, uh, it was very energetic, mm -hmm. but uh, it, and he, I'm sorry if I'm taking over the show. I'll be brief. <laughs> um, and it was, um, yeah, you two just smile and nod. And have okay. Awesome. <laughs> every, every nerd's fantasy that a girl is actually interested in what he has to say. So anyway, um, uh, so yeah, it's very energetic, and he speaks in very short sentences. Mm -hmm. Like he goes, blah, pow, 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 yeah. pow, and doesn't really waste a lot of time getting to the point, which I liked. And uh, so a lot of good messages about, uh, it was uh, think big, go for it, and um, 
you know, uh, never feel defeated. It says even if you even if you suffer a defeat, you don't have to accept it. You don't have. There are people that are become defeated inside, and then that's the doom of them. It says you never ever 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 have to accept defeat, and that that was a really good message. But there's a lot of revenge and getting even, and mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So a little a, a little mafioso. That is all. Ashley, are there any good stories from her childhood that we can indulge the young? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Goodness. Let's do. There's a time our older brother locked us in our rooms. I don't. I think I might have told with the story. With the ropes. With the ropes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what I want to hear is I want to hear a cruelty. I want to hear something mean you did to her. I don't know. We didn't. See, we were all like, so it's me, Ashley, and then we have another sister who's between us in age. Becca. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I thought there, there was like a 14 year old. No, no, no. So we had, there's the three of us, and um, we always had a kind of, you know, combined forces against our older brother. So you you weren't ever mean. I'm sure I was. I, I know, well, I've gotten mad at her before. I, I remember you. one time your boyfriend was over and I wanted to go to bed, and I told him to leave. When was that? <laughs> that was back Ooh, in Ooh, wow! <laughs> That's juicy! <laughs> that was boyfriend. Just say first name. Stephen? Oh! oh awesome. Different Somehow Stephen! Somehow Stephen got into this show, too! <laughs> Different He's like, I went back in time, disguised myself, was Tara's boyfriend, so later in the show there would be an anecdote It's because I didn't, I didn't know his last name, so... Yep, Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, there has to be there has to be good stories for Hunter, our childhood. See, Becca has the good ones because I shared her. Well, Wait, like, your name's Becca? No, this no, is Ashley. I'm Ashley. Becca's the nurse. Our other sister. sister. Is uh, does she spell it with two K's? No, uh, K A H. K A H. Like the Bible. But with a K. Mm -hmm. Yes. The biblical spelling. That's interesting, and I'll yeah. I'll tell you why in a bit. Okay, I'm excited to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Because Becca has seen me do an interpretive dance to oh, um, God Bless America. <laughs> I heard about can, it. Really? Can we see just like a little clip? No, 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 no. No, I think you have was, to now. It was really late at night, <laughs> and I was listening to music on my computer, and my one of my favorite songs came on. And okay, there's I'll, I will indulge everyone on YouTube and embarrass myself. <laughs> You oh, guys. you're gonna do the dance. Okay, I'll oh, move I don't the camera remember. back. Oh, it wasn't. I was sitting down at my desk, so I'm sitting Wait, down. Wait, it's a sitting down dance. Well, I was just kind of. So there's this line in the song that goes, um, "Wiped my brow and kept pushing through." So I was like, "Wiped my brow, kept pushing through." <laughs> Yay! I'm counting that. <laughs> it was awesome and. Yeah. And then, oh, the blonde brownies story. Yeah, I wish I was there for that one, too. You were there for that? I was in Kansas with Grandma and Grandpa, oh, and dear. I was babysitting the boys. Which really? are our two younger brothers. Yeah, you you and Becca went to Lake Conroe, and... Oh, dang it. That was the Becca gets brownies. to see all the good stuff. So yeah, I made these... <laughs> I'm a blonde. Like, not just literally, like, blonde hair. Like, I'm dumb. And oh, <laughs> no. Oh, you, you'll disagree yeah. when she just, finishes. Just let me tell the story, and you might change your mind. Okay. So I am making brownies. We got this brownie mix from somewhere. I don't remember where. I think it was given to us. I think so. It was like a Christmas It came as like an oven mitt. Yeah. And I'm making these brownies, and I'm like, something is not right. And they're called blonde brownies. So I'm sitting here... And I call my mom over. I'm like, Mom, there's something wrong with this brownie mix. She's like, what? And I was like, it's not brown. <laughs> and she looks at me. She's like, Tara, they're blonde brownies. I was like, I thought they were called blonde brownies because they're easy to make. <laughs> like, there is one. When we were in... <laughs> that somehow the instructions and the cooking is... Or like just like to similar. make it... Yeah, not that they're like white chocolate or like vanilla, you know? They're, no. They're just yeast. Well, there was that time when we were uh, in I want to go to New Year's all of a sudden. Uh -huh. Does that sound good? Yeah, it does actually. Wait, what, what happened in Colorado? Oh, when uh, the mail came 
and me, you, and Becca all at the same time burst into the Blue's Clues male song. That's and the nice just thing. Looked at. <laughs> That's the nice thing about having uh, sisters is you just like have the same you know wavelength. So we just do that stuff all Here's the time. The male exactly. That never fails. <laughs> it, it makes me wanna, wanna wag my tail when, when it comes. I want it. You male. Yeah. She just I don't think it can us. be stopped. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you it's can't. Like, uh, it's like. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's nice. The nice thing about having sisters is at the same time we'll just start doing stuff like that. We have synchronicity from. Well, mm -hmm. Yes, we also bribed Becca to get us bluebell ice cream last time we were there. <laughs> yeah. So blue. For those people who are not blessed to be from the state of Texas or surrounding states that have bluebell homemade ice cream. That's the perfect way to say. No, just kidding. I'm not going to go into the entire theme song. It's delicious and it's the best ice cream on the planet, but they don't mm. have it here they in Utah. They only have it at one no. place in Utah. They have it at is Provo. It better than the Creamery on Ninth. Yeah. Oh wow. They have it at the Provo Beach Resort, but you can only get, you can't like buy it and take it home as many huh. cones. Huh. So I got our other sister to buy us some of their ice cream and we brought it back with us with dry, dry ice. ice. <laughs> it's delicious. It's the Bluebell's homemade vanilla ice cream. It's the only ice cream I will eat without stuff on top of it. Like, I will eat it plain. And normally I have to have, like, chocolate syrup or root beer or it's, something. It's good ice cream. Um, oh, when we were in Colorado at Thanksgiving, we went and found some ponies. And then our, mm. our dog Any had Any story with ponies is good by me. <laughs> Well, we went on a walk because it was really, it was like 75 degrees or something. Considering in Utah it was yeah. cold. <laughs> so we went for a walk and we came across some ponies and I really wanted one. They're like the little like Shetland ponies, so they were like nice miniature size. They were the size of our dog. Yeah, and we have, <laughs> we have the cutest dog. He's an Alaskan Malamute, so he's like the same size as Ashley. <laughs> Actually, I think he weighs more than I do. I think he's like seriously, now. he is like a dog <laughs> this size. That is my mom's dog, and then she has a Chihuahua, which is really funny. So they fight, but really, the Chihuahua does nothing to Jake except. <laughs> does the Chihuahua win? Uh, Jake just doesn't care, and so Zeus is he like. He usually just ignores him and walks away, and every once in a while he'll bite. Jake's tail, Jake will stand up and there'll be a little chihuahua, chihuahua hanging, hanging off the tail. It's awesome. <laughs> and uh, they, they're they both boys, so they get into the like competition of like marking territory, you know, outside. Oh, wow. And Jake mm, has maybe uh, sprinkled on top of the chihuahua a couple More times. times. <laughs> Mom doesn't like that very much. Uh, it's funny, though. Um... But yeah, we have a really cute Alaskan Malamute, and he, uh, it was two Thanksgivings ago that he was running from, like, your bed to my bed, and, yep, <clears throat> yeah, he's awesome, we love him. He likes to cuddle, but he's a little too big to share a bed with. He, he more lays on top of you than laying with you. Yeah, turns out a dog that's 100 pounds is not a good lap dog, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know I don't why think he's all, aware of that. Yeah, all big dogs seem to think that they're smaller than they are, so they're like, I can totally fit in your lap, but really they can't. And Zeus, the Chihuahua, he uh, likes to think he's some big bad security dog, so he'll start barking whenever anyone pulls up, and then you're like, you're a Chihuahua, what are you going to do to me? So it's like, if Zeus starts barking, then they see Jake, it kind of, <laughs> you know, makes sense, but... Jake wouldn't do anything, except Jake likes to run away. Yes, he, he likes people too much. He's very friendly. Everyone in the neighborhood stops and pets him when they pass by the house. He's the worst guard dog ever. Yeah, he uh, he went for a walk down this like highway in Colorado, and then they, he got picked up, and we, they brought him back to us, but he had to spend some time in doggy jail. <laughs> and then he was grounded. That's awesome. And then, yeah, he got grounded. All the dogs are, like, lifting weights, <laughs> you know. They yeah. got, like, tattoos on their paw knuckles. Exactly. So, yeah, there's... He, he's Rough sadly love. not a very intelligent dog. It, it's it's cute, though. Did You heard about him breaking the taillight on the trailer. No. With the... Well, um, 
he's very clumsy, and apparently he was running at something, and at first, he gave himself a concussion, which I didn't know dogs could get concussions. Hmm. Uh, they thought he ran into a tree, and then later, they were out, uh, Mike, our stepdad, was looking at the, uh, the trailer that they hook up to the truck, and the headlight was out. And then they see some, like, little red pieces in Jake's fur, and... <laughs> so he caught a car he, then and put the tail on it? Yeah, he, he ran, ran into car. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, he also, since he's tall enough to, like, reach the tables, we were at Thanksgiving. Yes? Oh, yeah, uh, one minute. Okay. okay, we were at Thanksgiving, and he tried it. We had the turkey in the middle of the table. He tries to hop up and, you know, get the so turkey. So hold on, is this the chihuahua? No, this yeah. is the big Alaskan Malamute, oh, the wow. Ashley size. Okay. Dog. So we're like, no, Jake. And then the next year, our little brother's so wait, birthday. Zeus is the little dog? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Zeus and Jake. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he apparently ate some of my little brother's birthday cake because my mom had it on the table, forgot that Jake was inside, and Jake took the corner of the birthday cake, which I think it was like a carrot cake or something weird like that. Oh, man. Now I gotta go to Neaters. We just keep talking about baked goods. <laughs> I know, it's driving oh, me nuts. Good. I, I've tried some of Neaters, like, newer. I tried uh, this raspberry lemon cupcake. It was really good. Uh, my wife has uh, had one of those hmm. just yesterday. They awesome. have something called a Napoleon. I like saw creamy, that. It's uh, puff pastry layered with creamy yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's like different layers. It looked really good. So it is good. It's fantastic. <laughs> it sounds really good. Good thing meters. I left it in my car so it was warm and it kind of melted and, and I thought was that oh, better it's be gross. Or worse? It was better. It was actually better. So apparently. right out of the oven would be Yeah, I think microwaved. Oh, you want a pastry beyond compare? Go to Gloria's in Provo, uh -huh. Italian restaurant, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. And uh, get their um, torta bianca. That sounds white good. cake. Nice. It's like a big round Thing. That sounds really they good. They also have gelato oh, there. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right. All right. Well, my apologies to the to, to the fans for talking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Too we much. just wanted to uh, introduce my sister to Hi. everyone <laughs> again. And your name is Ashley. A Ashley. Okay. Great. So yeah, two of us. There's one more. Maybe one day. So hold up. Hold us. on. What are the ages then? I'm almost 25. Okay. Uh, 24. The, the middle one is 20, and okay. I'm 19. They, those two are 10 months and two days apart in age. Becca and Ashley. Right. So, Interesting. Yeah. There's six we'll, of us total. Maybe we'll bring a picture. Yeah, we'll hold Just a like picture. Just like holding a picture in between. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's six of us total, three boys, three girls. So All the girls are in the middle. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, wow. thanks. Hey, thanks a lot.